Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new showdown cards to review today. Uh, guys, listen, uh, with what I see from both of the cards, I think he improved them to a point where they're still going to be pretty solid for the meta of the game without the upgrade. But then obviously with the upgrade, they're going to be pretty nutty because here's the thing. If you take a look at this Nacho card, he's 5'11", low high work rates, right footed, two star skills, four star weak foot. But he already has base card stats of 87 pace, unless his pace split sucks. But we'll see. Player traits, he has team player, in-game attributes. There you go, see? So he's going to have a 94 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. Uh, cards like this, by default, are not usually super ideal to use in a three-back formation. I'll probably still do it for the review account, but... Um, because we're going to test all his capabilities, but it's a card that, you know, in a four back formation, not necessarily terrible to work with. Uh, he looks like he's formatted in a way where he's going to be more physical oriented than he is a little bit more agile, because uh, usually it's that that's how it works with the agility and dribbling actually being low on the card. So let's see if it's actually the case with him. We'll check out Zinchenko afterwards. Uh, average body type. OK, that's actually not bad. Okay, so if you boost this card, EA, I'm still going to give him a shadow, which is perfectly fine because if he ends up winning on a shadow chemistry style, the physical being improved with the dribbling being improved would be great because he'd be a four-star weak foot player at an average body type. Yeah, this is a good one, EA. I like that you guys chose this card because it's a card that, again, can play in the meta well right now, but in the future, if he gets that upgrade, especially for the acceleration and the extra dribbling with an average body type, that is really good. Because the base card stats for physical is already high, guys. Very, very important. Uh, no shooting capabilities. Passing is... Long passing is not great. This is where you want to use him in a four back more than anything. But uh, short passing is pretty decent. That could be improved from the upgrade if they actually do end up winning. Uh, dribbling on the card... For a center back, I thought he was going to be like a little bit um, body type might, might have been different, but an average body type with those dribbling stats, I'm not completely against that. With a four star weak foot too, it's pretty decent. Defensive stats being improved with a shadow chemistry style is going to leave defensive awareness low, everything else really high with really good physical capabilities. Interesting. Yeah, this card, this card definitely looks pretty interesting, guys. I will say. Uh, don't worry about the, how the team is formatted. We're doing reviews for some of the uh, Team of the Season cards, like Graven Birch and those guys. Probably going to do a review of those guys after the two showdown cards today and see if we could do some other guys, too. I got I to get some coffee or something. But uh, yeah, Nacho, we're going to be using him in a three-back because we're going to be testing out a few things. Not the 3-5-2, but the 3-4-1-2. Playing him in the center-back position. These guys are going to be more aggressive, right? Yuri Bocice and Blanc are going to be pushing forward a little bit. Uh, the rest of the team is not formatted correctly, but this is a defender review, so it doesn't really matter unless I was using Zichenko as like a left mid to push forward and come back, right? So yeah, let's try him out in the center back position and uh, we'll see how he plays. It's actually good that I don't mess with my team. I just want to defend, so... What the heck did his best just do right there? Yeah, I was just checking out uh, Nacho's defensive AI there. So he kind of just like went down a little bit... Went back into the middle. Nothing like too crazy there. Yeah, his marking was perfectly fine there. Didn't mind that at all. It was actually very solid. Just using L trigger. Don't want to touch anything else. Okay, so no like crazy interception there, which I don't expect him to do. His uh his transition speed's not bad at all though. That average body type is uh is nice so far. No foul? That was all pressure, huh? Okay. It works for me. Yeah, chills at the back while waiting for Blanc to give a nice little pass off. You know what, guys? I, I don't mind him too much in a three-back because his average body type is not super heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... it's, it's Well, the average body type is usually not heavy, but it's not like a heavy body type to work with in a three-back, you know? I'll trigger. I'll trigger still. 
I'll trigger still. Keep holding I'll trigger. Okay. Gotta see if they do any sort of like defensive animations there, you know? Because the L trigger guys, like when you L trigger is just like the shielding. When you shield, your player by default will do the tackle himself, right? So. Block. I'm lucky with the deflection though, unfortunately. But that's FIFA. I can't really blame the card for that, you know? Little turn. So that, that turn, the initial turn, you feel a little bit for the card. You do feel that a little bit. The grown switch. Nice. I actually challenged that one too. Like myself pressing the taco button. <laughs> I tackled to see how he would kind of like go back into uh, position to defend. Is that one? Oh, he goes for an actual animation there. I'm trying to switch to him, and I just, I genuinely couldn't do it there. Nice, clean slide tackle there. Nice, good old trigger. Or oh, Yarzabal comes back to get it, we'll take it. That one I was never going to get. If he's trying to go like backwards to try to get a header, those are just not going to work out. Like you have to get pretty lucky with those unless you have like a full meta card. There, I just want to push him out of position and see how fast he tracks back. Pretty quick to be fair. No animation there because I've thought it's way too far to the bottom side. There's a manual sprint speed here. I'll trigger go back. Gotta block the area here. There we go. I'm just all trigger there. <laughs> what? Did you guys see that touch? You guys doing like uh, what's that? What's that skill move? Like when you when you have five star skills and you just do this, the L1 R1. I don't know what that's called. Looks like he did that though. Just gonna clear it here. Did well, goalkeeper. I wish there was a way for me to just cancel that so the goalie can get it. See that quick turn that he did right there? That one was actually pretty solid. So not a full turnaround, like going backwards, but when he did like a sideways one, it was perfectly fine. Yeah, that's why I don't mind him too much in the three back because that average body type is, um, it's usually like a more agile body type if you have the right dribbling stats for a center back. Like Kunde is a pretty good example of that, but Kunde also has like really high, um, he has really high dribbling stats that compensates well, or it, it, it works well with that average body type of his. Tackle, there we go. That should be a goal. Raspadori misses for that. That's not really his fault, obviously. It's like the player to the side area. Of... That's me overcommitting like crazy, to be fair. He was like sprinting. He's like, I cannot let this pass through. I did well enough with the L trigger. Have to do the shielding. Oh, well done again. I'm telling you guys, like, players run faster when you just let the AI do it. <laughs> I tell you guys this all the time. I control them there, I'm pretty sure I'd be slower. Ah, cool. Missed that. Let's switch to see how fast he tracks back. Block this guy here. Not bad. It's definitely a card that I... Uh, they chose correctly again for an upgrade. Yeah, you, you, you could tell why. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Nacho SBC. So definitely a W SBC. Uh, it's a W SBC, not necessarily because he's like a crazy full meta card right now, right? But it's the fact that they gave this card really good stats to be used in the meta of the game for the Real Madrid links and all of that good stuff for a player. Here's the here's the kicker that costs 94k, right? 
And uh, this is not a mistake because if you go into the actual SBCs, you could see how much each individual one costs, right? So 94K for this SBC is incredibly fair value for what he offers in game as of right now for those Real Madrid and Spanish links. Just, just like this, okay? Here's the thing though. On top of that, because it's a showdown card that could potentially get upgraded depending on the result of the game, this card has a lot of potential. Why does it have potential? Because guys, this card, I didn't know had an average body type, okay? The average body type for this card with the pace boost that you're giving at a 94, 99, right? With that average body type 5'11 height, he feels more agile than he would being someone who is like a high and average, high and average plus, which those body types are not. Honestly, in the center back position, there's very rarely a body type that I don't like. It's always going to be down to personal preference and play style, right? So for a card like this, guys, it's a very similar situation to, I guess, a Kunde card, right? But Kunde, I'm going to show you guys something, okay? Kunde has really good dribbling stats, right? So that working with his shadow chemistry style to 96 96 with great defending and decent physical decent he's the only card that does this by the way is with the physical like that this card on a high high work rate average body type it's a card that transitions very quickly so if you're playing like a three back formation cards like this are perfect right because of the body type because of the height working with the with the dribbling stats and whatnot this card you can tell you know you'd love an upgrade on you could tell right because if he gets that acceleration boost so that it's like at a 96, 97, it depends on how they boost it, right? Because it would be absolutely gorgeous to be able to just give them an anchor chemistry style. But that really depends on how much they boost the acceleration. Because guys, in this game, you guys know it's through ball, law pass, meta like crazy. So you need the pace as much as possible. But in the three back right now, I didn't mind using him in it, right? Because... 94 99 is decent in it but honestly you want to try to get as that close to 99 99 as possible with the upgrade though it's the upgrade in the pace in the dribbling the dribbling stats being upgraded with that average body type is a really big one yeah passing stats being improved as well for a center back as well as base card stats for physical being improved is going to be the main things that you have to look at so uh this is a wsbc like i said because at, for the price range that it's at right now for what he offers in game perfectly fine but it's the upgrade that you really, really want for a bad boy like this, for sure. But uh, yeah, WSBC for what it is, absolutely. And like, it's just, it's still going to be a solid defensive player for you. You know, low high work rates, uh, average body type allows you to transition a little bit more quicker. Obviously, the turnaround ones, like most cards are going to be like not crazy. Yeah, it's kind of how it works, right? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. going to go check out Zinchenko and some of the team of season cards. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.